Hello, welcome to Yoga Flow. So today's class, um, we are actually going to start on our backs. We'll do a few things with the blocks and the strap on our backs. We'll make our way up. We'll do our um, standing movement practices, and then we'll start to make our way down. And my goal is to finish somewhat kind of similarly, how do we start it? So think about um, where we start and where we may come and end and think about how your body will feel differently in the beginning as it does in the end. So that being said, we'll go ahead and come onto our back, but have your strap handy and have at least one block handy. And you might notice I have four blocks set up here. Um, that's for me as I move from one side to the other, but you might only need one or two, depending on you. So from here, I'm just gonna come onto my back. Okay. And I'm just gonna start this with my knees bent here, just so I can relax a little bit. And maybe give yourself a little bit of a wiggle, 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 just to let everything kind of settle in. Hands can be to the side, you can take them to the belly, you can take them to um, your chest or maybe your heart space, which is right below the sternum here, which is where I like to put mine. Good. So as you're here, just kind of notice for a moment, is there anywhere that you can release tension? Soften a little bit. Maybe you need to make another little adjustment here to make this a little bit more comfortable for you. And once you've done that, bring that awareness to the breath. So as you inhale through the nose, can you feel a little bit better on your back, that rib cage expanding to the side? You can, might be able to feel it expanding on your mat. And then slowly release that out. Good. Notice here as you breathe, just like if you're seated, is it easier or harder to expand the rib cage? Do your shoulders want to do something different here than maybe they do when we're seated? Just notice. Staying with the breath. Good, now bringing your hands to your heart space or you can take them into a little bit prayer hands here. We'll come into an intention. So what would you like to give or receive from this practice today? Yesterday's intention of a Kentucky win over Duke didn't go very well, so we'll try another one today. So maybe just bringing in the joy that it is a great day outside, kind of the last good day before some bitter cold comes in here at the time of recording. And once you have that set, good, we'll take our arms to the side. We're just gonna do a few little range of motion exercises here. So I'm gonna reach my arms long beside me. Inhale, take them up. Exhale, really reach, 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 and take them down. So as we work here, could your belly button be in and engaged? Think about a heavy and connected low rib cage. We're just moving forward and back. Good. Now from here, we'll come up. We'll take the arms to the side. We'll take them back up and down. And lift and to the side, into a T, and lift and down. One more time, we'll lift to the side, take it up and down. Lifting up here, we're gonna take the elbows to the side. Maybe you can touch them to the floor, maybe not. And reach and lower and reach and lower and reach and lower and reach. Good, just take some little circles here in one direction, maybe not knocking anything over and then maybe opposite direction here. Notice what's to fire up in your back side and the front side to keep your rib cage and everything stable here. Good. So from here, we're going to grab our strap. Now I have folded my strap in half here and I'm going to thread that between my pointer and thumb and I'm going to kind of pull on it a little bit. So same as before, I'm going to reach long. Good, I'm gonna come up. I'm trying to keep that rib cage grounded. Maybe I can take my arms back, maybe not, and then take it forward. 
So go to your range of motion. Good, moving forward and back. Good, we're gonna add a bridge onto that. So reaching long as you lift your arms up, getting into the feet. Uh, actually, before, um, let's start something else. Make sure hips, knees, and toes are in this alignment here. Now reach the arms long. We'll lift the arms up, we'll lift the hips up. Go to your limit, which may not be where I'm at here. I've also got blocks in the way, didn't think about that. Good, and take a look forward, good. And just go to your limit. And one more time. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna take my arms up. I'm gonna keep my knees bent. I'm gonna nod my chin, my belly button is in. I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna rotate. I'm still kind of stretching with this strap to my right. And then I'm gonna come down. I'll come up and come to my left and come down to the right, down left, down, one more time, right, down, left, down, good. From here, I'm going to take my strap. I'm gonna place that strap in the center part of my right foot. So we are gonna get a little bit of a stretchy here to start. We'll also do a little bit of range of motion. So take a strap in each side, keep a little bit of a bend in this knee here. Lengthen through the spine, let that leg come in to your personal limits. So remember, no pain, numbness, tingling, burning. Come back to your intention. Good, and then from here, we'll release. I'm gonna take both straps into my right hand and I'm just gonna kinda do some little circles here. So nothing too big, really anchor through the opposite side. So we're, this is a little bit of core work here, but we're also just getting fluid going here in the socket and then just reverse that direction. Good, and then from here, we'll come up. Good, we will anchor through that left side again. Let that right leg come out to the side. And when you're ready, we'll take that back up. We are going to do a midair switcheroo here with our feet. Good. So from here, find a strap, find the range of motion that works for you. Little micro bend in that knee. We're lengthening from crown to tail with the back side of the body. And then from here, when you're ready, both straps into that left hand. You're just going through that little range of motion. You're trying to keep both hips grounded. A few circles in one direction. We'll take a few circles in the other. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, the next time you come back out, good. Just let that leg come out to the left. Really anchor through the right side. And we'll bring that back up. Good, we're gonna remove the foot. We're gonna put the strap to the side. We'll come back to that. I'm gonna grab one of my blocks here and I'm gonna place that block between my shins. Now you can also go higher in the leg and the thighs as well, but I'm placing mine just kind of like that um, right between my shins. I'm taking my legs and tabletop. So my knees are over my hips. My shins are parallel to the floor. I'm gonna take my arms out into a T Good, so we're gonna come into some dynamic twisting here. So belly button is in really tight. Good, inhale to prepare. Exhale, come to the right and hover. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're gonna change up that breath pattern. So from here, big inhale. Exhale, inhale now, coming to the hover. Exhale, center. Inhale into the hover. Exhale, center again. Inhale to the hover. Exhale, center. Inhale, hover. 
Exhale, center. Good. Now this time as you come all the way over to the right, good. We're gonna take it all the way over and pause. Reach through those arms. Breathe and expand the rib cage. Good. Now from here, being mindful you've got a block here, you can still take one leg at a time. You've just got to replace your block. Otherwise, use your core muscles to bring you back in. And we'll take that over to the left. Good. And really reaching through the right side and breathing and expanding. Good. And then when you're ready in the way that's best for your body, make your way back to center. Good. Now I'm going to break, leave this block where it is. If you absolutely detest the block, it doesn't make any sense to keep it. You can release it. But I'm going to bring my knees in here. I'm going to grab behind my thighs. I'm going to take a big inhale. Exhale, I'm going to nod the chin. Good. And I'm going to start to rock here. And then maybe as I rock, I start to come up and find a Navasana and then come back. And I come up and I try to find that balance and come back and coming up, finding the balance and come back. Last time we'll come up, we'll find the balance, really find the balance. Good. Maybe you hold on, maybe you release. Maybe you take your legs long. And then from here, we'll grab that block. Good. We'll set that block to the side, cross the ankles, come forward. Now we're in all fours tabletop position. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of the pinky, the pointer and thumb. We're just going to do a few quick ones here. Nice big inhale into cow, shining the heart forward, tipping the pelvis back. Nice exhale, right around. Good. A couple more times. Good. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to make our way to downward facing dog. So half a hands width or full hands width forward. If you need to do that, I'm going to tuck my toes. I'm going to lift and I'm going to shift. So as I shift back, I'm just looking down at my feet. I want to try equal pressure into the big toe and pinky toe mounds, hip, knees and toes are tracking in this alignment. My fingers are still wide. I'm reading through the knuckles of pinky, porter, and thumb. My shoulders are in their pockets. I'm pressing in and forward into the mat. Keep a little bend in the knees if you need to. You can stay here. You can walk your dog. You can come high on the toes and drop the heels. Find yours. Stay with breath. Come back to your intention. Joy of the day, joy of movement or something else. And then from here, find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk or step your feet forward to meet your hands. Come to blocks here if you can't touch the floor. Little bend in the knees if you're tight in the back body um, or have some back issues. Good. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Blocks, floor, shins or thighs, lengthening the spine. Exhale, little bow. We'll do that once more. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, we'll rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, your mouth and your intention. Good. So we're going to go into a little side bend here. So if you need a wider base of support, keep your feet about hip width apart. You want a little bit more challenge, something a little deeper, step your feet closer together or together. Arms are going to come up overhead. Good, I'm gonna take my left hand to my right wrist. I'm gonna lift and I'm gonna side bend to my left. And you're breathing and expanding. Inhale, exhale, coming up. Right hand to left wrist. I'm just gonna lift a little bit, getting that side bend to the right. Breathe and expand. And coming back up, good. Feet can be a little bit more at ease. Big inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms are gonna come forward. So we're gonna come to a standing twist here. It's okay for the hips to follow you. So we'll take your gaze to your right hand and we'll open. Notice range of motion when you let the hips come with you and we'll come back. Follow the left hand as we open and come back. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll bow. From the bow, we'll step back into a plank pose. So you can be in a high plank here or a low plank. Find your plank. Good, I'm holding the plank, but I'm breathing. Good, whole body engagement here. Some of you will lower knees first if you're not there already. Others will shift forward slightly. Try not to collapse to the shoulders as you lower down to the belly. Good, taking hands a little bit more forward into the side, letting elbows relax, lengthen, 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 belly button in, pubic bone into the mat. Maybe we lift into a baby cobra. Maybe a little bit higher. Maybe a high cobra or a modified up dog. So make sure shoulders are in their pockets, they're not creepy, and we're supported in the spine, so we don't wanna hang here. And then inhale, exhale, taking that down, tucking the toes in the way that's best for your body through a push-up or a tabletop, find your downward facing dog. Good, coming into your breath. And then from here, when you're ready, from your down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, and roll back. Inhale, root, engage, and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Arms come forward again. This time, hips will stay forward, only twisting from the torso. Opening to the right. Smaller range of motion. And coming back in. Opening to the left. Coming back in, inhale, reach and lengthen, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, exhale, and bow. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. You choose, take or skip a flow. Good, so I'll take this first one. So flowing is optional. Some people like it, some people don't like it, some people shouldn't do it. So be mindful of your body's needs. And if you need to take breaks or skip something, always okay. From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and roll out. Inhale, root through the feet, engage to the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, from here, big inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. From this bow, I'm gonna step my right foot back. So I'm in the left up runner. Blocks can come under the hands here if you need them. Back knee can be lifted or grounded. Find yours. Right hand's gonna come to the floor to a block. We're gonna twist to the left. Hand comes down outside the left foot to a blocker to the floor. We'll twist to the right and we'll take that down. Planting the hands, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Good, coming to down dog, finding your breath. From your downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bending the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. Now from this bow, we'll plant the hands. Your left foot's gonna step back now. Right up runner. Use blocks or the floor. Back knee can be lifted or grounded. Left hand's gonna come to the floor to a block. We're gonna twist to the right. Taking that down. Right hand comes on the outside of the right foot to the floor to a block. Twist to the left. Coming back down, planting the hands, step your foot back, you choose. Take or skip a flow. I'm gonna skip this flow myself. Good. So honor your body where it is. Good, take joy in honoring your body where it is. 
From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and bow. Inhale, root, engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center, finding your breath, your mountain, your intention. Good. So from here, we're going to come hip width apart here in parallel. We're going to do a little bit of a balance challenge here before we come into um, a sun salute B variation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my left foot. It's going to be my supporting leg. So I'll just do that from this angle. So I'm just going to shift my weight in here. I'm going to zip up through the front body. Good. And I'm going to pick up my right foot. You can always come to a piece of furniture here. We're not flowing back with this one. The higher you lift, the harder it is. Don't lift higher if you're not stable when you're lower. Only lift to where you're stable. Good. Now, if you're going to be here, you can do a few things. You can stay. You can take your arms forward. And maybe you want to twist to the right. And coming back in and taking that back down. Good. We'll take that to the other side. Maybe shake out that left leg. Okay. So right hip, knee, and toe are going to face forward. That's going to be your supporting leg now. Good. Little softness there. Good. Zip up through the front body. So core helps with balance. And you decide. Only come to where you're stable on that one foot. The higher you go, the harder it is. Hands can be anywhere you want. I'm going to take mine forward. You can stay here. Or maybe you open up to the left. A little bit of a one leg twisty. And coming back to center and taking that down. Good. Shake out supporting leg. We're going to take the feet about parallel hip width apart here. Big inhale, arms lift. Exhale, sit back into chair pose. So find your heels, find your glutes. We want some length in the spine, but you want to keep the natural curvature back here. So we don't want to flatten that out. Belly button is in. Good. We're going to take five pulses here. So here's five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Find your chair. Good. I'm going to count 10 pulses, but you stop if you need to stop before 10. So here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press all the way through. Take those arms up. Zip up the front body. Find the standing back bend here. Inhale. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, roll out. Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. You choose, take or skip your flow. I'm gonna skip this flow. Good, once you're ready from your downward facing dog, we're gonna pick up that left leg. We're gonna bend that left knee. We're gonna do two cheetahs here forward before we step that foot through. So big inhale to prepare. Exhale, round, come forward. Mind your wrist, don't come fast. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round, come forward, belly button in. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Use blocks to help you stabilize here as you warrior prep that back foot. Heel to heel, heel to arch. We're taking this leg out a little bit wider. Once you're stable, you can rise, warrior one. Front hip will come back, back hip will come forward just a smidge. Zip up that front body. Press to the back edge of the back foot. Good, find the front heel of the front foot. Hip, knee, and toe should be tracking here. Good. Now, we're going to breathe here for a few. So maybe you can press into that big toe mound of the front foot, lifting those toes lifting that arch. Could you do the same thing into the back foot? Notice what happens. Good. If you lifted your toes, we'll lower the toes. Big inhale, exhale, hinging forward, taking your path to the mat, swiveling up the back foot, front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip your flow. When you're ready from your downward facing dog, we're gonna do that all again on the right side. So right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. Here's the two cheetahs, inhale, exhale, round forward. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round forward. 
Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Good. Warrior prep the back foot. Use blocks to help you with stability if you need to do that. And once you're stable, we'll rise and we'll come into our warrior one. So maybe the front hip needs to come back a little bit. Back hip needs to come forward. Pressing through the back edge of the back foot. Watch that tracking in the front. Good. Zip up through the front body. Relax through the shoulders. Once again, could you press into the big toe mounds of that front foot, lifting the toes, arch full lift. Could you lift the back toes of the back foot if you press into the big toe mound there? As you lower the toes, big inhale, exhale, take your path back to the mat, swivel up the back foot, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Now when you're flowing, I do recommend only a half push up here. It's a lot easier on your rotator cuffs. Most people are not strong enough in the rotator cuffs to take that all the way down and do the push up into upward facing dog. Lots of injuries are created there. So be mindful of that. This is all, that's also why I say you can always skip the flow. It's never required. Some people shouldn't do it. So from downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, when we bow, from this bow, we're going to sit back into our chair where we started this series. Good. So we're going to do the same thing again, but we're going to add on a few things this time. So finding chair, hips, knees, and toes are tracking. Belly button is in. Here's the five pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Good. Here's the 10 if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press all the way up. Take that nice standing back bend. Engage the front body. Inhale. Exhale. Hinge and fold. Inhale. Lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale. Little bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank pose. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Remember, there's always that modified flow coming onto the knees, lowering halfway. Good. Finding your up dog, your back bend. And then in the way that's best for you, finding down dog. So from downward facing dog, left leg's going to lift three times. Two cheetahs bending that knee. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, take it back. Exhale forward. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Warrior prep the back foot, stabilize as you rise. Warrior one. Front hip will come back, back hip will come forward. Find the back edge of the back foot. Find that front heel. Good. So from here, we're going to add on. So I'm going to take my left arm forward on top. Good. You can hug yourself or you can eagle arm wrap here. Good. So zipping up through the front body, being strong through the back body and back foot. We're going to hinge and come forward. We're going to do this in two times. So here's one coming up. Maybe we take it into a back bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale coming up. Exhale. Stay up. We're going to release. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, exhale, taking those hands to the mat, swiveling up the back foot from that swivel. We're not going into down dog just yet. I've probably got some people there, but blocks can come under the hands. Front hip's going to come back, back hip's going to come forward. Just we're going to lengthen and maybe we lengthen the torso a little bit here. Maybe you fold in. My back heel is not grounded. I'm pressing back through the heel, but it's not grounded. So think about the feet and the legs being in parallel railroad tracks here. Good. If you took a deeper fold, we'll come up and lengthen. Looking down at that front foot, we'll bend that front knee. Planting the hands, front foot steps back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Noticing how you feel one side to the other. We're gonna take that all again onto the right side. So right leg lifts three point, bending that knee. Here's the two cheetahs. Exhale and round. Inhale, taking it back. 
Exhale, round. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. We'll warrior prep. Find your stability before you move. Good. Front hip's going to come back. Back hip's going to come forward just a little bit. Zipping up through the front body. Arms are going to come forward. Right arm's going to come on top. Find your hug or find your rack. Good. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale. Hinge. Taking it forward. And we'll come up. I'm keeping that core engaged as I come into my back bend, and I'm going to taking it back forward and coming up. Good. From here, I'm going to stay up. I'm going to release the arms. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Take that path to the mat. We'll swivel up that back foot. Good. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Pressing back through that back heel. Bring blocks under your hands if you need to. We're going to lengthen that front leg. Good, keep softness in your front knee. If it's safe for you to do so, you're welcome to fold in a little bit here. Keep length in the torso. Notice how different this feels on one side versus the other. Good, from here, if you took a deeper fold, we'll come up. We'll look down at that front foot. We'll put a bend in that front knee. We'll plant the hands to the mat. Front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip the flow. Notice how you feel. Good. From downward facing dog, inhale, look forward. Bend those knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, raise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding breath, mountain, intention. Good. So we're gonna come into another um, balance challenge here. So the balance challenge that we did on one foot a moment ago, we're gonna come back to that. That's gonna be the end of this challenge. But we're gonna come into that through dancer pose. So I'm gonna start, my left leg is gonna be my supporting leg again. Hip, knee and toe are gonna to face forward. Again, I'm gonna take my left arm up. I'm gonna roll my right arm back. I'm gonna bend my right knee. You may or may not bind here. And remember, you can always bind with pants. Pants are always okay. Good, let that knee settle in towards the midline for a moment. See if you can press into that left heel, getting out of that hip. Now from here, you choose. Are you staying here or are you moving on? If you're moving on, squeeze that right glute, take that right foot straight back. When you're ready, maybe you get a little bit of a hinge and fold. Good, breathe. Now again, I'm still thinking about trying not to collapse into that hip. Good. From here, those of you that took the fold, I'm gonna carefully come up. I'm gonna try to release with control, no slingshotting. I'm gonna bring that arm back up. And taking that down, good. We'll shake out that supporting leg. Maybe you need to roll that ankle around a few times. We're gonna take that all to the other side. So from here, when you're ready, now the right leg is gonna be your supporting leg. Hip, knee, and toe are gonna to face forward. Good, right arm's gonna come up. Left arm's gonna roll back. I'm gonna bend that knee. Good, you can bind or not bind. Be where your body wants you to be today. So don't force it to do something that's not ready to do. Good, let that knee settle in. I'm zipping up through the front body, I'm still breathing. You can stay here, you can come out. If you're moving on, squeeze the left glute, left foot's gonna come straight back. And then from here, we'll take the fold. So I cue that squeeze of the glute and taking the foot back versus the cue, older cue of pressing foot and hand. Because when you squeeze the glute um, a little bit and then just think about the foot, it takes it out of the low back a little bit here. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good, carefully release with control. Arms gonna come back up, long single leg set. And we'll bring that back down. Shake out that supporting leg. Roll that ankle in one direction and then in the mirror. Good, from here, when you're ready from the top of your mat, big inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. 
Inhale, plant the hands, step or hop back to plank pose. You choose, take or skip a flow. You can also just work on a plank here, nothing wrong with that either. And then when you're ready from your downward facing dog, left leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee. I'm gonna round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Warrior prep the back foot, stable wise before you rise finding a warrior two. Good, so find the back edge of the back foot. Good, find that front heel. Front hip might come back a little bit, back hip might come forward a little bit. Good, if the front knee doesn't wanna be bent here, lengthen it. And same thing as we move. You can stay here on a bent knee or you can lengthen that leg as we take it back into exalted. Good, inhale, exhale, warrior two. We're gonna take hands behind for a humble warrior. You can bind them or not bind them. So I'm not going to roll back, press down and lift today, but they are bound behind my back here. So I'm gonna press through the back body and I'm gonna lengthen and hinge forward. A hand can come down for support if you need it. Inhale, exhale, pressing through that back body, coming back up, finding warrior two. I'm gonna lengthen this leg as I take it back into exalted. Good, and then from here, I'm gonna come up, finding warrior two. Inhale, exhale, I'm gonna cartwheel it down. My hands are gonna come on the inside of my left foot, and I'm gonna walk those hands around until I'm in a wide-legged table. So getting situated here, think about the big toes being in alignment, pressing to the outer edges of the feet. For some, this might be the extent of your wide-legged table today. Others will continue to fold in. Think about length of the torso. I'm still pressing through the outer edges of the feet here, so I'm not collapsing into the inner arches. Maybe a little bit of a micro bend in the knee. Good, inhale, I'm gonna lift. One more. I'm gonna walk my hands forward here a little bit. And then I'm gonna shift the hips back a little bit. Good, still breathing. I'm lengthening through my torso, my upper body. I'm still pressing through the outer edges of the feet. From here when you're ready. Good, I'm gonna come back out of that little hinge. I'm gonna walk my hands back in. I'm gonna put a little bend in the knees, hands come to the thighs. I'm gonna come back up here. Good, I'm gonna swing in the heels. Hips, knees, and toes are gonna track here. I'm still zipping up through the front body. And then from here, I'm just gonna find a squat. Good. Now from here, I'm just gonna take that over and come back. I'll take it over and come back. Good, I'm gonna lengthen and take it over this time. Come back to squat. Lengthen and take it over. Good, and come back to squat. From here, think about if you have a tendency to lean forward, see if you can bring the tailbone a little bit more towards the floor. It does not have to be perfect there. Again, watch your alignment here. Hands are gonna come, oh, let's take them in the goddess hand, zipping up and we're gonna rotate. So you're keeping it in torso. Good, and left and right, and left and right, and left and right, and left and right, and we'll come back in. Reach, 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 inhale, taking those feet back in. We'll hinge and fold, good. From the hinge and fold, good. We're gonna walk those hands back up towards that left foot. So left foot's gonna turn out again, swiveling up the back foot, planting your hands, take or skip a flow. Now noticing how you feel on one side versus the other. Good, now from here, I'm just gonna turn around to my other side here just so that my rear end does not come to you. Good, from here when you're ready, we're gonna take that all on the other side. So right leg's gonna lift three point, bending that knee, round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands, use blocks for stability if you need to, warrior prep that back foot. And when you're ready, rise with stability, warrior two. So maybe making a little adjustment here. So I'm different um, with my alignment on one side to the other, you might be too. So always make those adjustments. 
Good. Maybe front hip comes back a smidge, back hip comes forward. Reach, reach, reach. Good. From here with a lengthened front leg or keeping it bent, we're going to take it back into exalted. Good. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Going into humble warrior variation, taking hands behind you, drawing up and in. Find stability, lengthen and hinge. You can take a hand down here for support if you need to. Good. Inhale, exhale, get into the back foot, get into that front heel, finding your warrior two. I'm going to lengthen my front leg as I come back into exalted here. Good, inhale, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, we'll cartwheel that down. As you cartwheel that down, hands are gonna come on the inside of that right foot now, and we'll walk it back in. We're wide-legged table. So once more, make sure that the big toes are in alignment. Good, so from here, we're just gonna take that nice little fold, lengthen, 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 head and neck, maybe you're free. Some of you, it might touch, and that's okay too. I'm so pressing through the outer edges of the feet. Inhale, I'm going to lift. Now, if you have options. You can do that again if you want to. You can go back and do what we did on the other side, taking your hands forward and hinging hips back. I'm going to take my hands back through here behind me. Some people don't like that, though. Maybe you want to come to yogi toe and bend the elbows out to the side. So find yours. And then when you're ready, I'm going to carefully bring in my hands. I'm in the wide-legged table. I'm going to put a little bend in the knees. I'm going to take my hands to the thighs. I'm going to come all the way up. I'm going to swing my heels in, hips, knees, and toes turn out to the side. Good. Big inhale. Exhale. Taking that nice little flow here. Good. And then from here, we'll come back into your squat. We're going to leave the hands up prayer on the squat this time. So get into the heels. Think about the glutes. Watch your knee tracking here. I'm going to press my hands in. So when I do that, maybe my elbows lift slightly. So I want to feel this in my whole upper body. And then from here, we're going to go into the twist again. We'll start on the right side. So we've got right and left and right and left and right. And left. Notice the differences when you just touch the hands together versus pressing them together. Good. And coming back over where we started. Coming back. We'll reach, reach, reach. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Good. We're going to take those feet back forward. Inhale. Exhale. Take that hinge. Hands come down. You're going to walk those hands around that front foot. You're in that right up runner now. Plant the hands. Front foot steps back. You choose. Take or skip a flow. That will be the last flow of the class. Once you've made it back there, we're going to drop the knees and we're going to come to a child's pose. So knees can be together as wide as the mat, somewhere in between. You can take your arms long in front of you. You can take your hands by, by your ankles. Um, something that I've recently rediscovered, it's not new, I've just rediscovered it, is grabbing the sides of my mat here and giving a little bit of a tug out to each side as I come in. Some people will like that, some people will not. So honor where you are. Breathe and expand. Come back to that joyous intention. And then when you're ready, good. I'm going to take my hands in just a little bit. Good. I'm just going to lift a little bit here. Good. I'm just going to make sure that my space is clear on both sides. I'm going to walk my hands over to my left. And once I'm there, I'm going to walk my right fingertips forward. I'm going to lift my hips slightly. I'm going to press into that left hand. I'm going to sink towards my right hip. Breathe and expand. Okay, from here I'm gonna come up. 
I'm gonna come back to center, half or full child's pose here, letting that spine reset itself. And then when you're ready, good. We'll lift a little bit here, walking the hands over to the right, walking the left fingertips forward. And when you're ready, pressing into the right hand as you sink towards the left side. Good, breathe and expand. And we'll come up and we'll take it back to center. Good, and reset yourself. And when you're ready, we're gonna come up and we're gonna have a seat. So I'm just gonna bring my blanket in here to sit on. Good, so we're gonna open up the hips again a little bit more here. So let's take the soles of the feet together. We'll come into a Baddha Konasana. So careful that the heels are not too close into the groin. Good. So support your knees here. Um, if they're really high um, blocks, folded blankets, pillows, what have you. And then from here, we're nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. We'll hinge forward. Keep length in the spine. Breathe, come back to intention. And then from here, when you're ready, we'll carefully come up out of there. Okay, from here, I'm gonna bring my knees in. I'm gonna take my left leg log. I'm gonna cross my right leg over. Okay, so I'm gonna find a nice tall spine here. My sits bones are grounded. Good, so I'm finding that length. My right leg is crossed over. I'm gonna twist to my right, so big inhale. Exhale, take that twist to the right. So remember your twist, you should be able to expand the rib cage when you inhale. If not, you might be too deep. And we wanna be mindful not to crank through the spine. Good, inhale. Exhale, coming back in. We're gonna switch sides. Good. So now I'm gonna take my right leg long. I'm gonna bring my left leg up and cross it over. Good, I'm gonna make sure my sit bones are rooted. I'm gonna lift and lengthen. And then from here, big inhale. Exhale, I'm gonna take that twist to the left. Inhale, exhale, coming back to center. Good. From here, have your strap handy. Good. Have one. You get to choose where you put it. So from here, we can take the shins the block between the shins, okay? You can also take that block between the hands. So zipping up nice and tight, big inhale. Good, maybe you stay here. Maybe you go into rotation. Good. Good, from there, maybe you try to really reach. Woo! Pressing into both. And then from here, when you're ready, I'm gonna release one. If you've still got it in you, we're gonna go back to those rolls. So rolling back, coming up into your Navasana balance and roll and coming back up and we'll roll and coming back up and we'll roll and we'll come back up. Whew. Remove that block, have at least one close by. We're gonna carefully come onto the back here. When you get down there, take your knees into your chest and we'll rock, rock, rock it side to side. Good, maybe taking hands on the knees, making some circles here in one direction and then the other. Good, and then from here, whenever you're ready, good. We're gonna go back into our twisty. So I'm gonna take my block, 
You can use your block or not use your block this time. I'm gonna stay with my block. So I'm putting the block back between my shin. Arms are to the side. Good, so back into that dynamic twisty movement. So belly button is in nice and tight. Good, just a couple rounds here, coming over to the right into a hover. And through center, to the left, and center, to the right, center, to the left, and center, taking it all the way over to the right. Breathe and expand. Good, and when you're ready, using your core to bring it back in center, taking it over to the left. Good, and then from here when you're ready, using your core to bring you back in center. I'm gonna remove that block here. Good, so from here, I'm just gonna kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm gonna have my block handy. We're gonna come into two bridges. The first one is a basic bridge that I will guide you through. The second one is gonna be your freestyle bridge. So whatever bridge um, that's in your practice that you would like to do. So rolling your shoulders back, hip knees and toes are gonna track here. Heels are not too close or too far away from the glutes. And when you're ready, pressing evenly into both feet, we're gonna come back up. Breathe, remember your body will always let you know when you should not come up any higher. And then when you're ready, we'll take that down. Good, second bridge, any bridge of your choice. You can do what we just did. You can find an ankle bind. You can do a full back bend. You can clasp the hands underneath. You can take a block between the legs. I'm gonna do one between the ankles here, just for a little bit of a different alignment. And then, or you can have a block underneath your sacrum. So whenever you're ready, inhale, exhale, find your bridge. If you're not already there, And then from here, we'll lower that down. Good, from your bridge. Good, I'm gonna carefully move this out of the way. We're gonna come into a figure four. So I'm going to cross my right ankle over my left knee. Some of you might just be here, just kind of pressing into that um, right thigh. Periodically, others are gonna bring that into the chest. As you bring it into the chest, you can stay there or you can rock, rock gently side to side. Good, and then when you're ready, we'll carefully release, carefully undo, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We're gonna take that to the other side. So now your right, that, the left ankle is gonna cross over the right knee. Good, gently press into that thigh. And when you're ready, you can stay here or you can bring it into the chest. You can stay here or you can rock, rock gently side to side. And when you're ready, we'll carefully undo. So we're gonna grab the trusty strap. And when you're ready here, we're gonna take the sole of that right foot right into the center of that strap. We're strapping the center of the right foot. Good. From here, find a grip that's appropriate for you. Your other knee can be bent or extended long. You choose and we'll bring it back in. Good. So notice now how this stretch feels versus that very first one we did at the beginning. And then we'll release. Good, both strapped into the right hand. Toes, knees and hips of that right leg are gonna turn out towards the right. Really anchor through that left side as you bring that leg out to the right. And then when you're ready, we'll bring that leg back up. Good, we'll take that leg back into parallel, so toes facing the face. We'll extend that other leg long. Good, grabbing hand and strap, and you might have to kind of move that leg around here to find your sweet spot. If we're gonna arc that leg over, you can also have a bend in the knee. You can be 45 degrees, or you can bring it over a little bit more for full twist, 
keeping um, the leg in line with the hip. Don't let it flop on the floor. We're going to protect these joints back here. So engaging your core, belly button in, will also protect these joints back here. Okay, SI joints to be exact. They just don't move a lot, but um, in recent years, we've discovered that they move just enough to where if we're not careful, they can cause some big issues. So be mindful. And we'll bring that back in. Good. We're going to switch out our feet. Good. So a bent knee here or a long leg, find the grip that's appropriate for you on the side. Keeping a little softness in this knee, we're going to bring that in towards the face. And when you're ready, we'll release. Good. Taking both hands into that strap, we're going to take this leg into that external rotation. So heels going to swing in, toes, knees, and hips turn out. Good. And we'll take it to the side. Really anchors through that opposite side. Good. And when we're ready, We'll bring that back in. Good, legs gonna come back to parallel. So toes towards the face. We'll extend this leg long here. Good, we'll switch out our hands. Maybe move around, find your sweet spot. But when you're ready, good. You can arc that leg over, you can keep it there, or you can take it all the way over, keeping it in line with the hip. Breathe and expand. And then from here, when you're ready, we will take this back to center and we'll release knees into the chest. Rock, 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 side to side. We're gonna come into our Shavasana from here, relaxation. So wherever you would like to be for that, using whatever props you have for that, you can do so. You can prop yourself up on something. You can let everything come long and flop open. You can have knees bent, which is where I'm gonna be here. You can be on your side, you can be on your belly, be where you can be comfortable and then see if you can make yourself about 10% more comfortable there. And I will leave you here for a moment to practice the hardest yoga pose of all being still. We'll take some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Choose stillness or invite movement of the fingers and the toes. Choose stillness or taking knees into the chest 
Choosing to keep the upper body grounded or maybe you wanna tuck the chin and lift the upper body into a full body hug. And choosing stillness, removing any props that you may have used out of the way. Good, taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you and reach and lengthen from the edge of the fingertips, to the edge of the toes, full body stretch, point and flex through those feet. Bend and stretch through those hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then from here, whenever you're ready, carefully bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over onto your right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment. Taking a moment here to pause if you need that time. Otherwise, when you're ready, we'll press ourselves up to a seated position where we normally start our yoga practice. And then find a tall seat to think about the ears, the shoulders, and the hips, maybe fingers up to the side. Noticing how you feel now versus when we started. Palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reach, 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 and lengthen. Nice and tall, touching palms together. Exhale, hands and heart center. Reconnecting with that joyous intention you made for yourself one more time. We'll take them to our forehead for good and true thoughts to our lips for good and kind words, and to our hearts for open and loving hearts, knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe, may you stay well, may you have a wonderful day, evening, and week ahead. Namaste.